when it comes to the keyword throws. We must declare one or more exceptions in a throws clause if the method generates an exception and does not handle the exception. The responsibility of handling the exception falls onto the calling method. In the previous video, I mentioned the keyword throw is used to manually throw an exception. Let's look at throw and throws. Under class one, I have a method called divide numbers that receive two integer arguments. Num1 is divided by num2 and the value is assigned to dividend. Dividend is returned to the calling method in class two. We see under class two, I created an object called OBJ. OBJ calls the divide numbers method in class one, then pass 100 and 50. When I execute, we see two is returned to the console. Suppose I change 50 to zero. In the previous video, we saw an exception will show up because a number cannot be divided by zero. Let's run again. Did the exception happen in class one or class two? The stack trace shows us arithmetic exception divided by zero and class one divide numbers. When the exception happened, the code was running in class one. However, class two must handle the exception because it sent the values 100 and zero. Let's handle the exception. By surrounding dividend equals num1 divided by num2 with the try statement. In the catch statement, exception. We write a print statement, sys out. for class one. Throwing back an exception to class two. At this point, class one does not know how to handle the data because class two is sending data that's causing a problem. Let's rethrow the exception by throwing back an exception to the calling class with the customized message. Throw new exception. Can you check your numbers? Here's where we implement the throws keyword. Notice there's a compiler error Hover the error, and we see add throws declaration selected. And throws exception is added to our method signature. Saving class one, causing error in class two. Class two has an error because it's calling the divide numbers method. The divide numbers method indicates it may throw an exception. Therefore, class two has to handle the exception that class one throws back. Hover the error and select surround with try catch. Print the message sys out class two. I almost misspelled class, didn't I? E dot get message. Now let's run. We see class one throwing back an exception to class two. Class two, can you check your numbers? To recap, class two calls the divide numbers method in class one. 
Class one receives values 100 and zero, which causes an exception. It tries the numbers, then catch the exception. After catching the exception, class one throws a new exception with the message that's sent back to class two. The throws keyword is used in the method's signature because the method may throw an exception. We can add one or more exceptions separated by a comma. That's it for both keywords throw and throws. Throw is used to mainly throw an exception and throws is declared in the method signature to declare an exception that might get thrown. That's it for throw and throws. Follow me on Twitter, connect with me on LinkedIn, subscribe to my YouTube channel, because I have a lot more tutorials, demos to show you for programming and automation. And I'll see you in the next video. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All part one ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium automation book. And Test NG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.